Good night, good night, everyone. My name is Sophia Lightborn. Thank you so much. I'm so excited about tonight's webinar, okay, for you guys just now hopping on. You know, we're about to get started in about two minutes, okay? Two minutes. So now would be a great time to get a sheet of paper, get a pen, send a last minute text message out to anyone you want to share this information with. Tonight, we're going to be talking about credit, okay? Credit. I'm so excited, guys. Um, we're going to be sharing some great information. Um, things that we were never taught in school that we should have been, you know, these are the, these are the type of subjects I think that we should have had in ninth grade, you know, uh, where we were learning algebra, we should have been learning about credit. So tonight we're going to get some really good information, you know, take the last couple minutes to, you know, tag a friend, um, share this invite, this webinar, send out the webinar link, get some people to jump on here because we're going to be giving some great information guys that can start to transform your finances and your credit situation immediately okay once again my name is Sophia Lightborn we're gonna get started here in about 60 seconds all right grab a sheet of paper and a pen because we're gonna be ready to rock and roll here in a couple minutes I get started here in 15 seconds, guys. Some people are having some trouble jumping on, so I'm just gonna send a last minute text out. Okay. We're gonna get started here in a second, guys, all right? Okay, it's about that time. It's about that time. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Let me just make sure the lines are muted. One second. Awesome. So I think you guys should be able to see me. If you can, someone just unmute yourself and let me know if you can see the PowerPoint and if you can still hear me. Somebody give me. See. I can see. I can see. And I you, can, see. you can hear as well, right, Jamel? Yeah, I can see and hear you. Okay, yes, perfect. Yes, yes. Perfect. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate that. We're going to jump right into this. All right. Here we go. You know, make sure the lines are muted. Here, some background noise here. All right, guys. Good night, everyone. All right. Good night, everyone. Thank you so much for taking some time out of your busy schedules to jump on tonight tonight's uh, webinar. My name is Sophia Lightborn, and I'm so grateful, you know, that you chose, you know, to take a couple of minutes out of, of, out of your busy schedules to come on and learn the what, the why, and, you know, how to about credit. You know, um, tonight, you're going to get some information that we were never taught in schools. How many of you guys on the line tonight have ever had a class in credit? Right? I don't know about you. Um, if you did, please let me know what school that was you went to because we need it in more schools. You know, most of us were never taught much about money, much about finance, especially credit. So we start to play the catch up game, you know, after we've already got ourselves most times in a pretty bad situation. Okay. Um, so tonight we're going to be talking about the what, the why, the how to credit. And by the end of the webinar tonight, you're going to learn so much information that you can start to implement tonight to help you get your score up um, 50, 100 points over the next 90, 120 days if you apply the things that you're going to learn tonight, okay? Um, I've got a, a, a great gift for you guys, so make sure you stay on until the end. I've got something free for each and every one of you guys just for taking your time out to get on tonight's webinar. You know, I know you could be doing anything with your time, but you took time out, so I want to make sure everyone leaves with something. Okay, I'm gonna, I did an ebook called The 10 Credit Hacks to Boost Your Score in 30 Days. So I'm gonna make sure that each and every one of you get the unique link for that ebook at the end of the webinar. Okay, um, before we hop right into it, just to introduce myself, my name is Sophia Lightborn. I'm a personal finance specialist. Um, you guys probably can hear I've got an accent. So I'm from the Bahamas, but I, I make my home in Miami, Florida. And, you know, I got passionate about the journey of personal finance when I realized that. You know, if I didn't change something that I was doing in my life, I was going to have what I saw most people around me have. 
and that was not much, right? And I knew that that was in the life for me. And I made a decision that I would figure out, you know, what wealthy people were doing and how they were winning with finances and what I wasn't. And I got passionate about it. And I've got some amazing mentors who were able to pour into me and teach me the rules of the wealthy. So it's no good if I keep that information to myself, right? So I'm really passionate about sharing it with each and every one of you guys. So make sure you've got a sheet of paper and a pen, you know, because we're going to share some good information tonight. All right. Credit. Most times when we hear the word credit, we start to cringe, right? Because we don't have the best credit. Most people, you know, about one in every four people in this country have a score less than 600, okay? Less than 600. It's amazing the lack of knowledge about credit. So often I talk to people, you know, about credit and, you know, how to improve their situation or how to improve their personal finances. And I ask them about their score and they're like, my score is pretty good. I ask them what their score is and they're like, I got about a 550. And they're thinking that that's good. Guys, right, a 500 credit score is not good, okay? Actually, on the, on the scale, that equates to a poor credit score. So we've got to find ways to get you closer to the other end of the spectrum, which is an 850, okay? So I want you guys to set your eyes on an 850 credit score. Perfect credit. That's the goal. So no matter where you're starting from, the information you're going to get on tonight's webinar will help you to be able to start to implement some strategies to go from wherever you're at, you are closer to that 850. So imagine your life right now, guys, with an 800 credit score, right? Imagine that. What would it feel like to be able to walk on any car lot and know that you can leave with any vehicle, no money down? How does that feel? What about being able to go and sit with a realtor and know that no matter what house you see, you know, your credit will qualify you for it. That's a great feeling, right? So that's why we've got to set our eyes on the prize of maintaining good credit. Here's why. We've got to first figure out what is credit. Most of us never focus on our credit until we need it. And that's something that we've got to start to change. We've got to start to get more, more proactive about our credit rather than reactive. So what is credit? The simplest way to define credit is this. Credit is your ability to pay your bills on time over time. I'll repeat that. Credit is your ability to make payments on time over time. That's all credit is. Sometimes we start to complicate this thing. All your credit means is that you will pay back when you said you would pay back, okay? Every single time. That's what credit is. So there's basically, guys, you know, you'll always hear throughout, when I first moved to this country, I always heard, you know, you're going to need credit. You need credit. You know, I didn't really understand what that meant. And if you're interested in a credit card so you don't have to carry a, a lot of cash around you need credit right if you're looking to buy a car you're gonna need credit if you're looking to one day own a home you're gonna need credit and while most people probably have a base understanding of what that means you need to borrow money of course right they may not understand the ins and outs of credit and why their credit reports and credit score are so important but what we're gonna do right now is break that all down okay Guys, think about it. Simply put, when you pay by credit, you're borrowing the money you need to make a purchase. Okay? In exchange for that financing, you're basically agreeing to pay the lender back the amount you spend plus interest. Remember this. Interest is the penalty you pay for the right to own something in advance that you cannot afford. That's good, y'all. I'll repeat that. Interest is the penalty you pay for the right to own something in advance that you cannot afford. See guys, here's a few of the ways we use credit, right? You're using credit when you make purchases with a credit card or a charge card, okay, at a store. And you use your credit card or your charge card, you know, or bill me later. You know, you use credit when you borrow money to buy a home or a car, or, you know, when you agree to some type of loan that includes interest. See. You're using credit when you take out a personal loan to consolidate debt, debt. All of these things are credit. But while all of these examples involve using credit, the borrowing terms aren't the same. So we're going to talk about really quickly the four major types of credit, you know, that, that we, we come across each and every day. The first one is revolving credit. Okay, revolving credit. 
with revolving credit, all that means is you're given a maximum credit limit and you can make charges up to that limit. Each month you carry a balance or you know make a payment and what's the most common form of revolving credit? Credit cards, okay? Credit cards are revolving. I'm so sorry guys. Okay, credit cards are revolving debt. Now, what you've got to realize, I want you to draw a circle around revolving debt, put an asterisk next to it, use a highlighter and highlight it. Revolving debt is the one that's hurting your pocket the most. Those credit cards, guys, we've got to figure out a way to get rid of the debt that we're carrying on those credit cards. I'm going to talk to you why in a minute because of how it makes up and affects your credit score, but just know that revolving credit or revolving debt is the one you want to get rid of first. The second types of credit is charge cards. What's a charge card? It often looks like a credit card, but they usually, you know, those cards that you get from the stores. Many of you may have a Sayers card. You may have a Macy's card, maybe a TJ Maxx card. Those are charge cards, okay? They're, uh, they, they use the same way as a credit card, but they are usually only used at certain establishments, okay? The third type of credit, is service credit. Service credit. What service credit? When you turn your utilities on, you usually have to, they run a credit check before they bring you electricity at your new place. If you need a cell phone, what do they run? Your credit, right? A gym membership. That's a service that they use your credit to give you these services. Guys, that blew my mind when I first moved to this country. I, 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 I moved to a new apartment. You know, I had to turn on the, the utilities and they wanted to run my credit. I didn't have any credit. So you know what ended up happening? I ended up having to pay hundreds of dollars in deposits for each and every bill that I wanted to connect because of the lack of credit, okay? So service credit. The fourth type of credit is installment debt, installment credit, okay? What this is, is these are loans where you're loaned a specific amount of money at a fixed interest rate, and your job is to pay the money back on time for a certain amount of time. This, in car, this includes things like car notes. This is your mortgages. These are different types of loans. And these are the four most common types of credit that you're gonna face on a day-to-day -day basis. Now you may ask yourself, okay, do the types of credit that I have matter? Yes, it matters, okay, for two reasons, guys. The first is it's important to know that, you know, what you're signing yourself up for. You want to understand, you know, the terms and conditions of each loan you apply for. You want to pay attention to how that loan is being repaid. Since your payment history is the most important factor in your credit score that we'll talk about in a second. You know, speaking of credit scores, it takes a good mix of credit to actually impact your credit score positively. And we're going to talk about that in a second because the types of accounts in your credit file is, makes up 10% of your credit score. So you may ask, all right, Sophie, what is my credit? I'm sure you've been asked before for some service or some purchase you wanted to make, you know, how's your credit? And the answer typically involves the money you're borrowing in the different credit lines, okay? Your credit report is basically a compilation of all the loans that you currently have or have ever had in the past, okay? They're compiled by the credit reporting agencies. That's Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. I'm sure you guys are pretty familiar with them, right? They're used primarily by lenders to assess the likelihood that you're gonna pay the money back. So you've gotta to start to think of your credit score as your riskiness, you know, to be loaned money. See, people, you lenders use your credit score to figure out what your payment history looks like. They say, listen, will Sophia pay us back? How risky is it to lend her this money? If your credit history shows that you're not good at paying bills back on time, you're gonna have a low credit score, therefore lenders are not gonna to wanna to lend you money, okay? So your credit reports are kinda of like your report card, you know, for your finances and for your payment history. So you've gotta know now what's a good credit score. I mentioned before, a lot of people have it twisted when it comes to what's a good credit score. See, most scoring models range from 300 to 850. So you've got to figure out where are you on that scale. So you don't need to have a perfect credit score to have good credit, right? Any score over 700 is usually considered good, while anything over a 750 is considered excellent. So you've got to ask yourself, do you want to have very good credit or do you want to have excellent credit? 
If you're on this webinar tonight, I'm pretty sure you said excellence because we strive for excellence, right? So ask yourself this question right now. What's my credit score? And how far are you from that very good to excellent side of the scale? If you're not very close and you're far off, guys, it's okay. Okay, we can help you. We're gonna show you some things in the next minute or two that's gonna show you how you can start to improve your credit score. Okay, here we go. What makes up your credit score? There's five factors that play a major contribution in your credit. Okay, this chart shows this. You're gonna see that 35% of your credit score is based on your payment history. What's your track record for paying bills on time? Are you good pay? Are you bad pay? When I talk to a lot of friends, especially younger folks who don't really see the importance of credit, I make them understand when I said, listen, if you borrow 15 or 50 or 20 bucks from your friend and you say you're gonna pay back on Friday and on Friday you're a no-show, guess what? You now have bad credit with that person. The same thing applies. This is just on a bigger scale with bigger corporations. So your payment history is equivalent to 35% of your credit score. The second thing is your debt burden. That's also called your credit utilization. What does that mean? That means how much of the credit that you are giving or extended, how much of it are you using? Take for example, let's say you've got a thousand dollars limit on your credit card and you're using $800 of that thousand, you're using 80% of your credit ratio. That's bad, that's a red flag. That's gonna negatively impact your credit score. You wanna keep your credit utilization under 30% at all times. So if you've got a $1,000 credit card, you never wanna carry a balance of more than $300 on that card. Ideally, you wanna keep it under 10%, but 30% will have you in the positives, okay? The next thing that's making up your credit score is your credit length or your age of your accounts. This is why we always tell you never ever close your old credit cards, never close old accounts because the age of your credit history works for 15% of your credit score. The other two 10% is based on the number of you know, new inquiries that you're trying to make for credit and also the mix of credit. So you wanna make sure that you have revolving credit, you want some charge cards, you want some service credit, and you also want installment credit. You wanna mix because that's gonna positively, positively impact your credit score. Why do you need to have a good credit? Why do you need to have good credit? We're gonna go through six reasons really quickly why credit is important. See, like I mentioned at the beginning of this webinar, about one in every four people have a poor credit score. But did you know that having less than perfect credit costs you about $250,000 to a million dollars in a lifetime just in fees? Yeah, you heard me correctly. Most of us never get a chance to accumulate $250,000 in our bank accounts, but we spend $250,000 in interest and fees simply because we have less than perfect credit. So here are some reasons why you need to get serious about your credit. The first reason, if you want no or lower deposits, down payments or interest rates. And that's for anything. That's for cars, that's for uh, mortgages, that's for loans, anything that you want and you wanna keep your interest payments low and your down payments low, you need to have good credit. You also need good credit if you want to become a homeowner or you wanna drive a nice car. Most people won't have $50,000, $60,000 sitting in the banks to drive the car of their dreams. But you can finance a car but you're gonna pay so much more if you've got less than perfect credit. I know someone who's paying a 25% interest rate on an old Honda because they need a car and people take advantage of people with less than perfect credit, which is why you've gotta get serious about improving your credit score, okay? Another reason you wanna have good credit, if you wanna start your own business or you're gonna need some funding to grow it. In order for you to be eligible for business funding, for loans, to grow your business, go to the bank and and get funding, you're gonna need good credit. If you didn't know already, you're gonna need good credit even to get a new job. Most jobs now are checking your credit before they allow you, before they actually promote you or hire you. This is very, very common in like government uh, agencies. A negative score or negative payment history makes them think that you're not responsible. They say if this person is not responsible enough to pay back their bills, they can't work for us. So now they're judging our character based on our credit score. 
So you've got to get serious about this stuff, guys. You want to have good credit so you can have more money to invest and for your lifestyle. If you've got credit, guys, one of the things I learned from my, men, my, my mentors was that rich people live off of other people's money, which is credit, right? You can live your life off of credit. Another thing that's, another reason for credit is it helps you to look more attractive. I know that sounds crazy, but it's true. It's a fact that some people don't want to admit, right? But when you're doing well, you actually look like it. How many of y'all seen some of these actors and actresses or rappers before they got paid, before they got rich, they were looking toe up from the floor. Now they're paid, they just look different, right? That's because money and good credit gives you a different level of confidence. And one of my sayings is confidence is sexy, right? So when you're in a better financial situation, when you're in a better position to take care of yourself and your family, you know, that does something for you. And I promise you, you know, we would see a whole lot more unattractive entertainers and athletes, you know, if they were broke with bad credit, right? We mightn't even notice that. So people treat you different, even though this is kind of shallow. It's true. People treat you different when you have money or good credit. I guarantee you, if you ever go to a realtor and you write, they, they check your credit, they get your credit report back and you're over a 750, they'll treat you a lot nicer. The same thing on a car lot. If they run your credit and you've got good credit, they'll start calling you sir or ma'am because they know you're good for it. So credit, guys, is so, so, so important. Now, I'm going to talk really quickly before we get out of here some ways that you can start to increase your credit. So I'm going to, I gave you six reasons why you needed good credit. Now I'm going to give you six ways to increase your credit. The first way is you're going to want to pay down your balances quickly. Okay, you're gonna to wanna to pay down your balances quickly and even early. What does that mean? Take a look at all your credit cards, see what your balances are and start making payments to them to bring them down. Paying them down is gonna bring down your utilization rate and your score is gonna skyrocket within 30 days, okay? Remember, you wanna always keep your utilization under 30%. Second way for you to increase your credit score, get current on your bills. Start paying all your bills on time. Remember, credit is your ability to pay bills on time, all the time. So you wanna to start to get your bills current. You wanna start be creating new payment history of paying everything on time, all the time. The third thing that's gonna increase your credit, don't take out any new debt. Don't take out new debt. That means don't go out here and get more money, okay? Don't go out here and get yourself in more bills. But what you can do is you can open a new credit account. So what's the difference between number three and four? You can go ahead and open a new credit card so you can get a new credit account, but that doesn't mean go buy stuff on it and accumulate new debt. See, the only way credit gets you in trouble is if you're not responsible with it. See, what happens is sometimes you may be in financial situations, you might be in a financial bind. Now you get a credit card with $1,000, it's very tempting for you to go and max out that card and use that $1,000 just because it's available to you. That's gonna negatively affect your credit. But if you can get a credit card for $1,000 and you still live responsibly and you still keep that utilization under 30%, it's gonna positively impact you. So you wanna make sure that you are opening new credit accounts but you're not accumulating new debt. The fifth way, this is golden, y'all. Become an authorized user on someone else's card. I know each and every one of you guys on the line knows someone who has great credit. It may be your mom, it may be your sister, it may be your spouse, maybe your best friend. But here's what you wanna do. If someone you know has really, really good credit and great payment history, you wanna ask them if you can become an authorized user on their card. Now here's the trick to that. You wanna be added to the card, but you don't actually wanna have the card, okay? You don't wanna go and accumulate more debt. You just wanna be added to that card because when you're added as a user, you now basically adopt all of the positive payment history that this person has. So becoming an authorized user is a great way for you to skyrocket your score in about 60 days. So if you've got someone who you trust, someone who trusts you, go ahead and ask them if you can become an authorized user on their credit lines. It's gonna boost your score drastically. And the sixth way that most people sleep on, but it's one of the first things I feel like you should do to start getting your credit situation sorted out, is you wanna get all negative items on your credit report removed. Okay, you want to get everything on your credit report removed. See, there's something called the Fair Credit Reporting Act, where you know Congress passed a law to say, listen, 
everything on your credit report must be verified within 30 days or it must be removed. What you should do is either write the dispute letters yourself to try to get the negatives removed off of your report or hire professionals. That's what I did, you know, to get those negatives removed from your report. But the key is you don't want anything negative to be reporting on your credit report because it's negatively affected. Okay, guys, these are some things you can implement in your life starting tonight and really start to change your credit situation. Okay, you want to pay down your balances. You want to get current on your bills. Don't take new debt, but go out and get new credit accounts. Become an authorized user. You know, get negative items on your credit report removed. Now, like I asked you earlier, what would your life look like if you had an 800 credit score? What would life look like with a 700 credit score? So let me ask you a question, okay? We've been talking for the last, what, 30 minutes, you know, and I know you guys got some good information. I know it's hard to cover everything in a 30 minute span, but I do have a question for you. If there was a way for you to start implementing everything that we talked about tonight, would you be interested? See, what I did is I put together a special package for you guys who jumped on this webinar tonight because I appreciate your time. I understand in life there's, there's two types of equity, time and money. You know, this webinar was free, but you did give me some of your time. So what I want to do is put together something special for you guys to really start to help you implement all of the stuff you learned tonight over the next 90 days. I just want to make sure that it's okay and I can get you guys permission. You know, um, if I could just show you, take one minute and show you what you're going to get inside this, you know, done for you credit education program. Is that okay? So here's what you're going to get. You're going to get a professional credit repair service. You know, you're going to have some professionals who are going to be able to dispute everything negative that's on your credit report. Okay. With all three agencies at the same time, going to give you your own credit website. That's going to allow you to see everything that's being done on your behalf. Okay. That's a $1,200 value. $1,200. Because if you look at any company, Lexington law, creditreport.com, it's a hundred bucks a month for service, similar services. So in a year, that's about a $1,200 value. You're going to get debt elimination software. Okay. Think about it. This is connected to your bank account. So every time you swipe, it actually pulls in all of your accounts and it allows you to see exactly what your net worth is. It allows you to see exactly what you owe on this card, what you owe on this loan, this mortgage, this car note. And it shows you a customized game plan to help you to be able to get out of debt. Because wouldn't you agree that if you can bring your debt down, your credit is going to go up. True or true? That's about $199 value. If you wanted to buy any kind of you know, debt elimination software, things like Quicken and Mint, it's going to cost you about 200 bucks. We also included a budgeting tool. Connects to your bank account. Every time you swipe your card, you know, it categorizes it and it allows you to see exactly where your money's going. I'm, I'm a big believer. If you don't know where you're spending your money, you know, you can't improve it. You can't improve what you can't track. And this, this budgeting tool is going to allow you to be able to track your finances. So guys, all together, that's a $1,500 value. Right, so here's what you're gonna get. You're gonna get a professional credit repair service. You're gonna get debt elimination software, a budgeting tool. But of course, I'm not gonna charge you guys $1,500, okay? Of course. It's just gonna be $199 for you guys on the line today, okay? For you guys tonight. That's not, the, that's not the public price. That's for you guys who jumped on this webinar. I'm gonna include all of those things for you. Once again, what is it? It's that automated credit repair service. Okay, you're gonna get that debt elimination software. You're also gonna get the budgeting tool. So that's the automated credit repair, the debt elimination software, the budgeting tool, a $1,500 value that I'm basically giving it away to you guys, you know, just for $199 today. So you can get started with this program for $199 one time and just $29 a month. We're gonna show you how you can be able to take your score from wherever it's at you know, to over the 700, I like to call it the 700 club for less than $1 per day. See, it's time for us to get serious about our credit because our credit matters. It doesn't matter what, where you're starting from. The goal is where are you trying to go and what goals are you trying to achieve? So we got to start to get more intentional about focusing on our credit because we learned back in the day that cash was king. That's not true. You know, credit is power. So what I need you to do is whoever invited you on the line tonight, get back with them right now and let them know, listen, I want to take advantage of that 199 special. Okay. Let them know that you want to get started right now because this offer goes away soon. 
So make sure, get back with the person that invited you to the line, let them know you're ready to get serious about your credit and you're ready to start taking steps to make that happen. Once again, guys, my name is Sophia Lightborn. Thank you so much for taking some time to jump on tonight's webinar. I hope you got some value and I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great night. Be blessed.